All right, hello everybody. I'm Brian. This is my photo show. Hello and welcome. Today's topic, Nikon lens compatibility in the manual focus era. Here's what you need to know. I've got a Nichromat FTN, an FM, and an FM2. I have here an unmodified pre-AI 50mm f1.4, an AI series 51.4, and an AFD series 51.4. So, which of these can I use with which of these, and do I sacrifice any functionality? That's what we're going to talk about. So, number one. Nichromat and pre-AI. The Nichromat was designed for the pre-AI system. The pre-AI system is characterized by these things here which are called metering prongs which mate to this thing here called a metering pin. Okay, so this lens was designed for this camera. It mates up with full functionality, no problems. AI series. The AI series lenses also had a metering prong. They didn't need them because the AI series cameras did not require the metering prong, but Nikon kept them on there for purposes of backwards compatibility. So, this lens, because it has the prong, will mate to this pin, and uh, so the Nichromat enjoys full functionality, no problems whatsoever with the AI lens. AF lens. This is one of the um, either first or second autofocus series, depending on how you think of it. The original autofocus Nikors were simply called AF Nikors. This one was an AFD D series AF Nikor. Um, they're all basically the same. The D didn't change very much. Um, so, can I? To what extent can I use this lens with this camera? Well, it will mount. The AF series has an ordinary Nikon um, F mount, and it will mount just fine. So I can I can mount the um, the AF lens to the Nikromat. There you go, it's mounted, no problem. Um, I can release the aperture ring here and here. Very good. So because it has a physical aperture ring, I can use the aperture, not a problem. But because it doesn't have the, um, the prong, nothing is mating with the pin, so therefore the light meter doesn't know which aperture the lens is, um, is set to. So that means that when I use the AF series lens with the Nichromat, I have to use stop down metering. That is, I have to push this button, which closes the aperture in the lens. It's going to darken the viewfinder because I'm closing down the lens, and it's going to uh, give the light meter only the actual amount of light that it's going to use when the exposure is made. That's called stop-down metering. This is the same method of metering that's used with, um, uh, say, the Pentax Spotmatic or the Canon FL series. Uh, requires that you stop the lens down, usually by pressing a, a lever, you know, somewhere around here on the Nichromat up top, um, and that then is going to give the, the the light meter accurate information. So you do sacrifice some functionality due to the lack of a metering prong on the AF series lens. Okay, all right, that covers the Nichromat. What about the others? Okay, let's have a look at the FM. The FM was the replacement of um, was the replacement to the Nichromat series. Um, at the time, it would it would be what we consider today a um, so-called prosumer series camera, uh, and the FM used the AI metering system. However, it had a little button here. Here's the AI tab. Instead of a pin, the AI series cameras use a tab. And this particular AI series camera has a button which I can push or pull uh, to fold down, excuse me, here we go, I'm just going to push it in. Now, here we go, now I can fold the tab out of the way. Alright, the tab is now, I don't know how well you can see that, but the tab is now folded back out of the way. So that the flat bottom of this pre-AI lens can fit on the camera without any trouble. 
Okay, you see here how the tab is folded up out of the way. The flat bottom of the pre-AI lens is not interfering with it, otherwise it would crush that tab if I didn't fold it up. Um, and now I can use the pre-AI lens. But, because I folded up the tab, the lens is not communicating aperture data to the camera, so therefore I need to stop down meter. And I do that with this lever, lever right here. Okay. When I take a meter reading, I need to press this lever in. That's going to darken the viewfinder, depending upon which aperture I've set. Uh, and it will only it will show the light meter the actual amount of light that will be used for the exposure. So that way the light meter can give me a proper reading. So you just need to remember to do this. That's the hardest part of stop-down metering, frankly. If you're using a, um, uh, a camera that uh, sometimes uses stop-down metering, sometimes doesn't, depending upon which lens you're using, you have to remember when you are using a, a lens that requires stop-down metering. Because if you forget to do this, you'll get bad light readings. Um, but other than that, the lens works just fine. It will mount, you can change aperture, um, as long as you stop the lens down to meter. All right, so let's get rid of that. The replacement for the AI series was the, uh, excuse me, the replacement for the pre-AI series was the AI series and that's represented by this lens here. This lens has the AI ridge. Um, you can see this here, that's the AI ridge, um, as opposed to the flat base of the pre-AI lenses. And that's designed to mate with the tab. I folded the tab back down, the ridge mates with the tab, um, like so. I'll just show you. So, There we go. Uh, now, I'm not sure how well you can see this in the video, but, oh, well, that's, yeah, that's kind of tough. Um, here's the tab right there, and it, and well, there's, excuse me, there's the ridge, there's the tab right there, okay? There's the tab. And as I move the lens, or as I move the aperture dial, rather, um, it's going to move the, the, the tab's going to follow along, and that will mechanically communicate aperture data to the light meter. Right, that's how the AI system works. Um, similarly, the, um, the AF series works just fine with the FM because it has a physical aperture ring. Okay? Um, it doesn't need a, uh, because it does not have a metering pin, it does not need a metering tab, uh, but it does have a physical aperture ring, so I can change aperture. It's got the, um, it's got the ridged base, which then mates up with the tab right there, uh, which, then, which follows the, uh, the aperture ring around, uh, communicating mechanically the aperture data to the camera. Full functionality, no sacrifice whatsoever. The only problem is the, the manual focus on these, these early AF lenses sometimes tends to be a little sloppy. This one's okay, but some of them are a little, they just, you know, they weren't designed for manual focus, so, you know, they feel a little loose. Um, but if you can deal with that, then yeah, sure, full functionality, no problem. Okay, the FM2 has the same compatibility as the FM, except for the ability to accept pre-AI lenses. By the time the FM2 was released, Nikon figured that, well, you know, it's been, was it, five, five years after the AI system was introduced, they, they, um, uh, they produced the FM2, and by that time Nikon figured, well, we don't need to give the camera a fold-away tab because by now, you know, all the professionals have already converted all their lenses from pre-AI to AI, so there's no need to accommodate unconverted lenses on this series of camera. So, the FM2 simply has a, um, a fixed, well it's not fixed, I mean it does move, but it doesn't, it doesn't move back. There's no button here that I can press to move this thing out of the way. Um, if I try to mount this lens with a flat base onto this camera, I'm going to be in trouble because the flat base of this lens is going to crush that tab right there. I will permanently damage the camera. 
if I tried to mount an unmodified pre-AI lens with a flat base onto this camera. Don't do that. Um, so let's see here. So that's a no-no. No dice. Otherwise, um, it works fine with the AI series or the AF series lenses. Basically, the FM2 can accept any Nikon lens that has a physical aperture ring as so long as it is either AI series or has been AI modified. Um, it cannot accept under any circumstances a, an unmodified pre-AI lens. So for lens compatibility purposes, the FM2 is the worst of the bunch because it simply cannot accept a pre-AI or an unmodified pre-AI lens at all without breaking the camera. In contrast, the Nikromat is fully compatible with all the lenses except for the AF which requires stop-down metering. Similarly, the FM is compatible with all the lenses we've seen except that in order to mount the pre-AI, unmodified pre-AI lens, I need to fold the metering tab out of the way and use stop-down metering. Okay. Um, all right. So that's about all there is to it. Your quick and dirty guide to Nikon lens compatibility in the manual focus era. I hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.